Black Santa, Black Santa ringing his bell. Why are you ringing your bell in the beginning of April? <laughs> it's not even close to Christmas. <laughs> oh, hi there. I'm Brendan Peterson, the founder of Dark Slide Pictures and the director of Paper Wasps. Welcome to Appalling Productions Mondays, number 13. That's the episode number. And uh, this episode is called Seven Weird Filmmakers You Should Know. And by weird, again, remember, I don't mean a negative kind of weird. I mean, weird is in a cool or unusual or odd or different, unique kind of way. And so let's just jump right in. Sebastian Gouden is a Canadian filmmaker who really loves monsters. And he makes really weird ones in his movies. His first feature film, entitled Like Animator, is exactly what it sounds like. A hybrid of reanimator and werewolf films, with some extra added surprises as per his usual style. He is currently shooting his second feature film entitled Slimoids, which is his go at a gremlins like movie and it's being done with real puppets. Keep track of this young up and coming filmmaker and you'll see some more weird monsters I'm sure of it. Jeff Lieberman is an American director known for his highly creative and distinct horror movies. They often feature oddball plots like his film Squirm where a storm causes power lines to break and touch the ground drawing millions of man-eating worms out of the earth. Or his film Blue Sunshine where a possible dangerous form of LSD might be driving people into becoming homicidal maniacs. He doesn't have a ton of films, but they're worth checking out, so check them out. Louis Bunuel was a Spanish filmmaker who was known for his surrealistic style. His first picture, Un Chien Andalo, was called the most famous short film ever made by Roger Ebert. And his last film, The Obscure Object of Desire, won him Best Director Awards from the National Board of Review and the National Society of Film Critics. If you like your films dreamlike, weird, and surreal, well, check out Boon Well. Andrzej Zulowski was a Polish film director and writer. He studied cinema in France in the late 1950s. His sci-fi epic On the Silver Globe was interrupted by the Polish authorities and was never finished. After that, he moved to France where he continued to make violent and controversial arthouse films. He continued to make films until a year before he passed, his final film entitled Cosmos. Ken Russell was an English director known for his flamboyant and controversial style. He's best known for his Oscar winning films Women in Love, The Devils, Tommy, and Altered States. Film critic Mark Kermode said of Russell that he was somebody who proved that British cinema didn't have to be about kitchen sink realism. Maya Darren was a Ukrainian-born American filmmaker and one of the most important American experimental filmmakers. She believed that the primary function of film was to create an experience, and that each of her films would draw new conclusions upon subsequent viewings rendering a dynamic that is ever-evolving. Many of her films are available to view here on YouTube, so check them out. They're, they're really great, and it's like a pure visual language use of cinema. Shinya Tsukamoto is a Japanese film director and actor. He's best known for Tetsuo the Iron Man, his classic cyberpunk body horror film. He began making films when he was 14, when his grandpa gave him a Super 8 camera. His films have influenced many other filmmakers, including Martin Scorsese, who has cited Shinya's film Bullet Ballet as such an influence. His films are all quite different, but all offer unique artistic qualities that only Shinya can deliver. So definitely check them out. Hey, thanks for watching Appalling Productions Mondays. And you might have noticed that this 
This list was a bit eclectic and didn't follow an exact pattern on what exactly defines weird and that's because it's hard to define something like that. So I basically pick seven filmmakers that I think you should know about that you might not know about at the moment. And once again, this is about spreading awareness on weird experimental films and cool stuff like that. I think it's cool. You might think it's cool. Yeah, yeah, Sammy. Sammy thinks it's cool. Sammy. Sammy.